Hello, and thanks for taking a moment to look at my ad. You are looking at a vintage PDP 8 slash E mini computer, which is one of the earliest mini computers. This particular one was made by Digital Equipment Corporation, and they made these uh, from about 1969 on. Uh, the 8 slash E model, I believe, came out in 70. Uh, this unit appears to be in 1979 based on a tag that was on the outside of it. Um, originally produced in 78 uh, and sold in 79. Um, as you can see, this unit powers up. The front panel has lights that are functional. Um, however, I'm not an assembly language programmer and this was originally made in assembly uh, for programming in assembly language. So I don't really have any way of testing it. Um, as you can see, we have a couple keys in the corner that need replacement on the fascia. The other ones appear to be in good condition. Beneath these covers are actual switches. These are basically just covers that flip up and down. The switches are all fine. Potentiometer here is in good shape. Nice and quiet, nice and tight. Key will need replacement. Switched in the on position. This unit has an H724 power supply. And this one, based on transformer on the inside appears to have been made in 1978. Um, this unit is completely stocked with cards. There's all kinds of cards in here. It's a really beautiful unit. Um, internally it is really nice and clean. Um, as you can see it uses a special kind of motherboard here and the motherboard um, if you're familiar with using an AGP or PCI card you know how tight that is. Well, this is about 10 times tighter than that. And consequently, I don't really want to remove these cards because removal could actually damage them. And I would like the buyer to get them in the best possible condition when they receive it. So, if you want to look at what some of the cards look like, uh, look at my previous ad. I had pulled a couple out for that. But uh, overall, they're in really good condition. I checked them all for leakage, bad odors, anything that can... Uh, some signs of damage. They all appear to be in good shape. I'll go over the cards in just a moment. But uh, the only thing that you will notice when you're looking at it internally is in the 70s they used a special material uh, for the case covers and it tended to decay. It was really cheap uh, but it kept uh, it from overheating. But as you can see just touching it is enough to make it uh, put a hole in it. So those would decay over time. So it could be, uh, could use a good blowing out. Aside from that, it's really nice. Uh, the only dirt you'll see on it is maybe around the fan from normal usage, but it, even that's very light. Like I said, it was uh, obviously kept in somebody's clean room, which is a fancy name for saying the closet where they keep servers in a big corporation. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna go over the cars for you. Um, starting at the very back, first card that we have is the MA320, which is the Omnibus Loads. That's the bus terminator. And that's followed by the M847, which is the MIAE Hardware Bootstrap Loader. Following that is the G111, and that's a set of three cards, which are the MM8EJ, and those are AK Memory Sense Inhibitors. That's the green card that you see here. And there's actually three of those in this unit. And each one is a set of three separate cards that make up that unit. Following the uh, G111 card, we have this blue card on the end, and I believe that that is the brains of this unit. Um, that one is the Data Systems Design 302-131-02 Revision C. Couldn't find any information about it online, so I can't really tell you too much about it, but uh, I do believe that's the main controller here. Um, okay, uh, well, after that, you'll find the M8655, which is the KL8JA terminal control, and that's a UART-based substitute for the M8650. And then is the M8350, which is the KAAE external positive input-output bus interface. Following that, you'll see a set of three cards here, the orange cards, and those are next to a blue controller card there. The orange cards, they comprise the CPU interface and memory timing. And the blue card is the Douglas Electronics 44C. 
and that is the 2D, I'm sorry, 26DE8. Following that, down on the bottom, you'll find a small part in here, and that is the M935 Omnibus Bridge, and it joins the two adjacent backplane segments together. That way all these parts can function together. Um, following that is the M849, that's the KKAE RFI shield, and it actually looks like a shield if you look at it, and that's to shield the memory. Um, there's the G111s again, and following that is the M848, it's the KPAE power fail and auto restart card. And uh, if you look at these cards, and just check their condition out, they're really nice. Vintage stuff. Okay, that's followed by another set of the G111s. And then, following that, you find the uh, M8300, which is the KK80 major registers. And then the M8310, which is the KK8E major register control. That is followed by the M837 over here, which is the memory extension and timeshare and the M8330 CPU timing generator. And that's the final card in the unit. Uh, that last part is the main board, which controls the front, front panel controls and the lighting. Anyway, uh, this is a very rare item, very popular with collectors. Once again, if you want to see the shape of the cards, uh, take a look at my other ad, because I've actually pulled a couple out there, and you can see these are basically the same. This is from the same lot. So, very cool unit. Thanks for looking at my ad. I'd like to wish you all a happy holiday, and good luck bidding.